Greetings everyone, welcome back to another round of Arbitration Studios where we traipse across the whole damn thing of the Mass Effect series. I'm JP Arbiter. I'm Captain Jack. And we are making a stop at the Citadel to recruit our next companion mm. who has a job for us that needs to be accomplished right away. There's no, there, there, there's a time limit here. Yep. Or at least I pretend there's a time limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never so, not done it right away. Well, it helps, uh, sharp-eyed viewers will notice that we did that I uh, did this mission and recorded it before we went to recruit Jack and Grunt because mm -hmm. so there's an artifact on it to, uh, that you get from this mission that uh, is kind of vital if you're not playing uh, right. a soldier yeah. type. Yep. Because because the submachine guns that you get suck. Yeah, I, right, I, yeah. I do. I do love this. Uh, this little means of, rec uh, of recruiting her to the whole hack of the advertisement billboard. So the only question is, is that uh, is what's being said being tied into our earpiece, or is it live and literally anyone can hear it? I like to think that uh, it's uh, going directly into the um, uh, implants, mm -hmm. and so that you're standing there looking like a mad person. Um, <laughs> that's my head game. Um, because, uh, it's funny. Um, oh, it's that sort of same, uh, personalized, uh, uh, advertisements like you saw in the movie Minority Report. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they scan your retina and said, Dr. Fraunhofer, we all need to think about life insurance once in a while. Yeah. You know, um, that was the scariest part of Minority Report for me, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm not so worried about them predicting, uh, crime and whatnot. We do that with math pretty accurately right now um but uh but no i'm it was those personalized advertisements which by the way uh thank you facebook we now have uh <laughs> unless you use a uh, web browser like DuckDuckGo or like 15 different uh browser plugins yeah i was uh yeah you know half the time I, every time i talk to my wife about something the next day i'm getting advertisements about it so uh, and here we have... But in your case, it's just hookers and weird sex toys. I mean... They're not weird. They're just... To you. They're, they're not weird to you. Okay, they're not weird to me. Um, they just, you know, help with my laziness. Um, I, I just... <laughs> I just think it's odd that you need an engineering degree from one of those, quote, universities that's in a strip mall. It's just an associate's degree. It's not that difficult. Uh... <laughs> But here we have, uh, we're going, uh, we're going to go on this mission, the first part of this mission. It's uh, kind of fun, actually, because it's kind of a, uh, a, a departure from, uh, just shoot everything. Um, even though there's plenty of that. Oh no, there's going to be plenty of, uh, shooting things, uh, because I refuse to play anything that doesn't involve shooting somebody in the face. Uh, but, the, but it is sort of that stealth mission impossible type thing. Yeah, and plus, we get a kick-ass dress on that. Great. This is very true. This, this is very true. You know, and one of the other things I, I have Remind liked me, about this game kind of is that uh, there's a certain... A uh, the game series is that uh, fashion sense, sense uh, really seems to have uh, kind of willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. The illusion of nudity rather than actual... Now is probably a good time uh, to fill me know, in on the details. It's a very elegant you gowns, have been waiting patiently. Uh, Sort of thing. It's um, sort of a fusion of like uh, is throwing a party the cyberpunk tropes friends. that were made famous by well, the worst liars, cheaters, and uh, and, and all that all offshoot, green combined green with a little bit of mid-century modern. Yeah, I also would like to point out the fact that as uh, it, even though women's fashion has changed <coughs> dramatically by this time, there's not a whole lot of difference in men's fashion. I uh, beg to differ, good sir. If you look at the cut uh, at the cut and the stitching of their suit jackets, I mean, pants are pants. He can't do much with a pair of slacks. I mean, that, that's that's just what it is. But the sti but the stitching and the fabric layout uh, uh, on like jackets and whatnot are drastically different from Western uh, you know, three-piece suits or two-piece suits. Um, and then as and as far as like actual uh, shirts and blouses, 
Um, I don't know what it is about sci-fi properties and their obsession, obsession with Mandarin-style collars. I thought it just looked like a turtleneck to me. Or maybe that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. But, but, but you wear suits far more than I do. Uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, it's a... Uh, I, I, and there, and frankly, there's not a necktie in sight in the Mass Effect universe, stuff. which I am grateful for. Uh, my grandfather once said that the modern necktie was invented by Napoleon, so his troops would not return from Russia in dishonor. After you, uh, I, uh, I don't know. That's who, a hanging joke, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I don't know who, who really did. Hold a moment, the, uh, There the seems to be an issue with the statue. It's, um, is there a problem? It's, yeah. No, Mr. Huck. Just doing a scan. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a, oh, a little wad of a, a little wad of silk that's folded into Name's this weird Allison triangle. Gale. So, though I've heard speaking a lot about of you, um, you've uh, been uh, very busy lately. Silly things. If the extra uh, net is to be believed, the gift that we bring sir, is a giant statue. Scanners aren't picking anything up. None other than. Mm. Sarah, uh, which, would come all the I mean, like, yeah, why me, would we think that this guy would like a trouble. statue of Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for the same reason that people collect, you know, uh, collect not only gone. Mein Kampf, but those books of Hitler's all. speeches but and all that other stuff. You know, they're outside. secretly you monsters who admire that. other monsters. That's fair. That's no a, problem. That's a fair point. Yeah, that is a great dress that she's wearing. The modern the necktie party. dates back to Croatian mercenaries well, serving in France during the Thirty Years Any War. Any idea why he'd send huh. you away? When no, it was we've never a seen each other in person, cravat. And no one knows uh, what he looked like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. However, I would like to point out uh, what would you know? that again, I totally We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. cosplay this or something. Forget cosplay, have her actually wear it to her we'll best. Yeah, contact no, I, would be, I mean, the out. length is perfect for her. Uh, and it's elegant. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's really nice. I like, uh, I like the whole deal. The, uh, the, the, the problem that your wife has is that it's pretty low cut around the chest. Yeah, uh, that's true. That's oh, true. That? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam. So, yeah, we're going to wander around. We're going to do a little recon. Yeah, we're going to do something. You know, for, for, first thing you do when you when you Which steal stuff is that you gotta case the joint and just you know, make sure like you know where everything something. is first. Good I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, oh, hey, what's this one? First time I played through this, I got Very really nice. frustrated because I wanted to shoot things. <laughs> like, immediately. I just wanted to shoot things. I, I was like, why can't I just shoot this place up? Password protected uh, voice uh, lock. Let's, let's do this barrier, the easy DNA scanner. Looks like the uh, 700 series. But no, they wouldn't let you. Everything you had to do it this way. Uh, but, you know, as far as um, gonna be a problem. DLC, you, could, you couldn't get the guy to talk we'll anyway. Uh, if, because he would be dead. We'll need to get a voice exactly. For the um, You'll have to go as to far as DLC back. goes, this we'll is have to find a password too. an DNA, example of what I believe play. is good we DLC. Find plenty of DNA uh, for me, for me, this is not, this is purely, this is... If we can really it, personal preference if that if you're going to give me DLC, me. give me an I'm adventure ever. to go on. Give Let's me to an, a, a, a something to do that I wouldn't normally get to do. Like crash some guy's part. Like uh, crash some guy's part? The Prime Radiancy it thing, I think like they the geared this as D tier just here. because, uh, because in the end it was so here. disposable. But, mm. I mean... I love heist stories. Uh, Fallout in Vegas has mm -hmm. a DLC uh, called. Uh, no, it's not Honest Heart. It's called Dead Money. And the whole thing is a casino heist. Um, and it's, fan it's a fantastic little, uh, little, uh, little thing, as far as I'm concerned. It also ranks up cranks up the difficulty to near impossible, even if you're playing on the easiest difficulty, which I really like. But, uh, so uh, that's the dead part of dead money. But here we are, we're gonna, uh, get this guy to do the one thing that he loves to do, which is talk about himself. Good to see you. And now on to our number one story and my favorite topic, me. Exactly. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donnie Hawk's home? Uh, Gun. 
I I think they were. This was before I even the first Iron Man movie came out, but I think whoever designed this was these guys of Iron Man. Well, no, I mean I'm questioning on whether or not that spatial parallel is fragile. Um, that's where, you know, I'm like, hmm, is that, like, people like you, me did you, you, did you do that on purpose? Because that, that requires a lot of sculpting if you did. Mm. Is that tattoo? What's going on? Uh, I, he's completely full of himself. There's being a market for the things slash, we do. Slash collector of stupid things and whatnot, but most people in this universe are just completely people. Cool. It's true. Uh, you know, they, they want to sell the idea that I they're said, get him this talking, great and you thing, got him talking. even everyone We've knows got enough of a voice sample. Let him No, it's go. true. It's You're not wrong. There are a lot of monsters in this room. And very few of them are a lot of monsters in this room. And very few of them are actually uh, monsters, like in the sense of being uh, alien or what have you. Humans are really kind of uh, awful. Uh, it's not all humans here, though. There are Turians and Solarians and Asari. Yeah, no, no. And, and Asari can it, it's, be... It's a small miracle I haven't found a Krogan. Uh, can really? you imagine Vorcha's servants? She sounds like uh, a hot ass. Imagine Krogan's down boy. You are hopeless. <laughs> I'm a hopeless romantic. What can no, you you're, say? no, you're just hopeless. You are without <laughs> hope. Uh, Mr. Hawk, uh, private excuse me, I was I, I was hired to wait for Mr. Hawk. Are we going to? Uh, I, I need a DNA sample from Mr. Hawk. I was told to wait for him in his quarters. Are we going to do this? Thing? Okay, one second. Where did you... Chief Rowe, Samuels, have you uh, given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private uh, rooms? Uh, that 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 was uncalled for. Um, I don't know who you think would, you are, but Rosa you know, uncalled for or not, it was like moderately funny. Yeah, it was it was moderately funny, but also it was really, really cliche. Yeah, um, I expect better of you. I expect better of you, to be honest with you. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, I would have oh, taken that option if that best. were an option. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 because the other is not security room. I'll take care of the lock. Uh, there we go. But, uh, and frankly, I think Hawk is one of those people who just wouldn't Red say it. Hawk is one of those people, he is either completely asexual, or he just you has, like, a here. chronic inability to say no to women. Yeah, no, I, I can see that. Um, I think it I, I think it would make it uh, interesting if he was completely asexual. Um, I also think it would make it interesting if he could uh, staff this case. Uh, oh, because, that was the next game. Uh, because I'm a fan of Stan. Um, I'm a, you know, I'm trying to figure out what the whole Omni Tool thing actually is. Like, is it a uh, bracelet that you wear? Yeah. No, that's a really good question. Huh. Um, I like how it becomes a in uh, nice. later games. Uh, I tapped their communication. I think we can uh, I'll just send me a knife, a knife made out of Tell him Chief glass. Indeed, for yeah. staff. I just take the <laughs> it's a, and I and I want to and I want to preface that now because that uh, it's down. not a butter knife. Yes. it's not a knife for cutting. It's not. It's not even a. For... It's not even a knife that you would find on a bayonet. It's no, like, no, 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 no. Like it's, if you measure that thing against Shepard's forearm, it's like the bayonet that was mounted on World War One shotguns. It's true. Where it's like that's like Mr. two Hawk's feet long. Rooms are off Indeed. Indeed. Um, and then again, I like molting glass. Mm -hmm. I like it. stabby. Just try. Uh, yeah. You know how I feel. The, about the, those those trash room shotguns with their with their high. I'm gonna turn this into a large spear. They have access well, to Well, here we are. Uh, we are busting you got it. Sorry to bother you, man. All right, I okay. got. I talked to, to the lady. Enjoy I will await Mr. Hawk's DNA sample now. Encounter one of the greatest memes in this game. Indeed. <laughs> so I, I almost want to pause our commentary for, for the wait for it moment. Just make it quick and quiet. This is actually a really, really Found awesome the bedroom. There's no, just one aspect to it that I don't like, and this is because of ah, here we are. It's clean. It's a plant. <laughs> it's a plant. <laughs> Indeed. I have to. I think this is been not planted. a great saliva sample. Uh, um, um, anyway, the, thi the thing I do not like about this bedroom, and, and this is probably just speaks a lot about my personal and my comfort level, the bed being in the middle of the suite and not against a wall would make me extremely uncomfortable. 
Looks like he's yeah, mine is, is that there's not a mirror over the bed. Oh, <laughs> Hopeless. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. If we're gonna be, if we're gonna be complaining about things. Also, I I didn't yeah, see a uh, bathroom. We can get some skin cells uh, from the dust. I, and, how and how much you want to bet that he just like we should find another goes in the plant? plant? <laughs> or <laughs> anyway, how much? I was gonna say how much you want to bet he just opens uh, up the uh, Mass Effect field windows and just pees out the side. I mean, that seems like something a guy like him would do, but I would. I, I'm in just in like, if you're you gonna have all that space it. and and that all that advancement, and all that opulence, uh, you know, wouldn't you want a nice, uh, a nice bathroom with a oh, beautiful sorry. bed or bed? I'm sorry, with a beautiful uh, tub and all of that kind of stuff. Well, the tub's uh, across on, from that other door. Mm -hmm. And maybe the bathroom is, too. So. Oh, oh well, no. Because, like, sense. this is a whole wing. Yeah, that's fair. Now, that's there, there is, uh, speaking of bathrooms in space, mm. I had a friend in, like, middle school or high school mm -hmm. who was super into Star Trek, and he was one that's of those awesome. people who adhered to the idea that Whenever people had to be in like a little Welcome, micro Mr. transporter, just DNA identification. Uh, that's just weird. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Yeah, no, they clarify that in Discovery that that's not what happens. Yep. <laughs> Although that was Discovery, that was when the use of transporters for uh, in the vicinity of living people, particularly living no, no. people's organs, was brand new. No, no, they clarify it in the future. <laughs> what happens? Uh, sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, but uh, talking about different sci-fi franchises, but we have uh, now we're getting to the part of this uh, particular uh, adventure that I think is uh, delightful, um, <laughs> and that's where I put my armor back. That's where we put our armor back on. It's time for us to get our shit together. <laughs> we start doing killing things, um, and, huh. and and if there's anything, chest I love, plate, titties, <laughs> and if there's anything I love. This world, it's chest plate titties. I just want to know if there's anything I like in this world, it's Krogan. Uh, and th if there's anything else I like in this world, it's uh, killing things. Um, so, like, l let's be honest here. Hawk is a douchebag, right? Donovan oh. Hawk is an absolute so this is Oh, absolutely. Especially, especially because he's down here with like all of this stuff, and far. he's the only person who can enjoy it. Yeah, and, and it's one of those things. I'm like, one of the things that I have an like absolute boner about, rage boner about, are wow. private art collectors. Because art should be for everyone. You know, I, I, absolutely. Um, totally, uh, so, like. That. Where, if it Hawk was you, would case. be the place where I'll you would just way. drop a deuce and uh, let people discover it later? Uh, for me? I guess everything's uh, valuable to someone. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, that's a really good question. Um, like, right in front of the Statue of Liberty. Doesn't look like Yeah. Much. Right, right, yeah. like, One maybe, like, if you can get here. the angle Turn right, like, under there, this sculpture, like whatever the fuck that for is. For good reason, yeah. I say. It's true. Um... In the first aid box. Um, this is nice. Yeah. Oddly relaxing. Uh, what the hell is that thing? Now wow. that, that will thing be familiar to anybody who's played the Dragon Age games. Oh, no wonder I don't know it. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a neat little. It's uh, like a tiny <coughs> Titanic, the way I hear it. It's a neat little uh, nod to one of the uh, scarier creatures that you first encounter. Ogres, right? Yeah. Uh, Are following me, uh, and, and they're essentially uh, this looks like Quinari, really yes, recall. they are. Wow. Uh, this has got to be old. well, that's a that's a when story for a different uh, game and a different uh, playthrough and oh. a different uh, podcast. But that, would, that would mean I would have to be have to sure what it is, Dragon then. Age, and I can't be. Well, no, that's that's not <laughs> interesting. How did oh, Dragon Age 3 was fun, but you bastards. You blew it up! Lady Liberty! For something like this. Damn and them! The Damn them to all to hell! Sort of thing. <laughs> Ooh, Creepy. say what you will about Charlton Heston. <laughs> and yeah, he, I certainly have him. You no, know, he could overact with the best of them. Oh. 
Now, you uh, see, this is something that I appreciate. The idea of not just being a gun collector, but, like, wanting to collect specific guns. Because the implication here isn't, oh, hey, someone used that model to kill the president of Chile and the president of the United States like, at the same time. Hence why it's called the gun that killed two presidents. It was, no, it was the, that specific gun. Right? Very, very that, That's a oh level of collectorship I is. almost admire. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I don't collect firearms for firearms sake. I collect specific firearms in history. Absolutely. I collect Patton's revolver. I collect yeah. Wyatt Earp's uh, also revolver. Uh, I need to stop thinking of revolvers. It's okay. Uh, um... Lee Harvey Oswald's uh, rifle, uh, the, uh, the, the infamous Stinger machine gun, and hello Zordon. I need what's in your I'm, oh. getting, I'm getting serious Power Rangers vibes here. God, that's a big head. Look, look, just don't make Kasumi the Yellow Ranger. I love doing this too. But... Boink. What are you doing? I'm Agatha goddamn Fisty. I'm the greatest motherfucker of all time. And you are paying attention to me now. You know, I don't deal well with people not paying attention to me. It's a thing. Um, sorry. Um, also, uh, I have no idea what it was that I just shot. Uh, I'm sure Come somebody to thought it was art, but... Uh, it looked like a hotel ashtray. If, exactly. Um... So here we have. We I, have I made sure it was the one I didn't leave a big soft steamy dump in. Yeah, it's going to be wise, very wise. Uh, here we have a uh, interesting, uh, not particularly difficult fight, if you know what you're doing. Uh, well, you know, what, what's rule number one in a gunfight? Take uh, cover. Don't be there. Uh, <laughs> that's. Okay, that's <laughs> rule zero. <laughs> don't. Uh, <laughs> And for for all the people out there that think it would be fun, uh, that are carrying around their uh, concealed weapons and just There's waiting for it to happen, it ain't going to be the way you think Joker, it is. Bring the in. <laughs> now. Um, however, uh, and again, uh, I love, you know, it's it's so funny to me. I love uh, these kind of games, uh, whether they're playing or whether they're oh, shit. Uh, but, uh, it's so I do love that ambush, by the way, where it's like you're going into a garage and then they open the door. Right. It's like, no, it was supposed to be the other way around, guys. Read the script. Right. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm always upset that you can't steal a vehicle mm -hmm. uh, and have a chase. Well, I, I, I love chase scenes. Uh, these things are fracking terrifying. Uh, the mechs. Well, it's, ha, ha, you know. M209 is a, is, is a cultural icon for a reason. And uh, I, I'm upset that they eventually get used. Um, because Shit. right now they are in your face. Oh my god, I'm going to die. And then Kasumi saves us. You, Kasumi. Boink. Kasumi for the. <laughs> The galaxy's greatest alien, Kasumi Goto. Uh, I miss Chris Statlander's whole alien shtick. I do. Like, too. don't get me wrong, this more than a woman badass. I'm honestly the second or third strongest woman in AEW, depending on where Maria Shafir is at any point. Yeah, yeah. Because seriously, Maria, Maria Shafir kind of looks like she uh, hits the juice once in a while. Of course, we have to find another it's a way. It's a possibility, but it's a possibility. But 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 but, but she also but she also hits it more for the physique than the strength boost. Possibly. Uh, and and I uh, I too uh, in this the uh, <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, she used to have a character that she would be on those. Uh, go ahead and go on YouTube and find that for yourself. It is delightful. Especially the different referees' reactions to it. Like, Aubrey, Aubrey Edwards just blushing, but she but she is also, like, almost aggressively bisexual. So, uh, Bryce Remsburg, like, has a seizure and, uh, oh, 
who is the uh, chief referee again for AEW, but, but but he kind of it was just like but just but I, I swear to God I would have I would have sworn John Cena just ran past here, but I can't see him. Indeed, um, <laughs> there's a there's a dearth in my opinion, and this is this is honestly one of my complaints about this particular. It's a minor complaint. It's not, no but there is an boom. Of, oh. Explosions? Yes. <laughs> I, uh, I love those. I'm a fan of explosions and uh, people exploding. Um, <laughs> fake people, mind you. Uh, I, uh, not I, real people. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, that the, the, the best full body explosion in movies was uh, in the uh, Harley Quinn movie. When uh, at the end, when you and McGregor had a hand grenade on him, and Cloaking. and then he popped just before hitting the water, it was glorious. And it has nothing to do with you, McGregor. You, McGregor, is a treasure. Love you, some you, McGregor. <coughs> oh, took a missile to the gut. Actually, happened to someone. Some What's happening? Uh, let me rephrase it happened to an army ranger in Somalia. This guy is decided to. Oh. Thank you, Kasumi. Fucking time, Kasumi. Here, let me stab a knife in the back and just make it blow up. Ooh, stab. Um, uh, I feel about stabbing things. Oh. oh. I always hate when you get hit by those. It's a it's a great mechanic, I think, honestly, uh, that they do. But man, is it annoying? Oh, it does its job. Yeah. No, no, it's it does its job well. Um, makes me wonder if like like you can't do much about the sound side. Uh, flashbangs disorienting you, but like welders glasses would that work? Well, I would like to say that uh, I, I imagine that if uh, you were wearing the helmet to your armor, that would uh, offer some protection. Uh, but uh, instead, you're walking around uh, like a jackass, uh, head uncovered, uh, like a horror. Uh, to quote. John Stewart. Um, That's this. <laughs> when speaking about Chicago pizza. Um, again, another YouTube thing that we need to go check out. Uh, John Stewart's coming back to Comedy Central. Yeah, he is. I'm pretty uh, happy with that. I, uh, I w I'm as happy as that about that as I will be if... If uh, he was coming back just as the executive producer, I'd be happy. Uh, uh, no, Trevor no. Noah. Um, it shows actually really great. I did like Trevor. Uh, his stand was pretty good. But, uh, like, like <clears throat> I don't know, it's one of those things where at one point John Stewart was the history or sociology professor who just got his doctorate, mm. and so he was barely older than his students, so he was, quote, one of us. Um, when he started, and now he's the smarmy know-it-all douchebag kind of professor that you just kind of hate. Indeed. Well, um, here we have, uh, we're moving into uh, the part where uh, I will be interested to see how this works out, um, <laughs> to be honest with you, because, uh, well, poorly. It'll work out for them. Yeah, um, because uh, we are playing a... Uh, and again, we have one of my pet peeves on this game, which is uh, they always show you with a... Uh, with a game, uh, assault rifle. And uh, you will use an assault rifle. Nope. Look left. So this boss fight is... Uh, is actually pretty difficult. Uh, oh, it, if you, uh, but the thing is, is that it's difficult because you're timed in terms of you, 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 you can't just lay the, the smack down. It, it's an artificial difficulty. 
Yeah. No, it's, you know. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's it's an exception to the gameplay. Loop. It's not the gameplay loop itself. Yep. Uh, absolutely. I think. Uh, spot. Um, gotta run forward. Gotta grab some ammo. <laughs> Hoist. Oh, hey. And and Whatever steal some money. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. And, and then right there. You knock his shields down, they immediately refill to 100%. It breaks the gameplay loop, and that is my pet peeve. Yep. I, I mean, your pet peeve is part of my pet peeve for this. Because um, uh, I feel the same way uh, about it. Um, and I also feel like you're penalized a lot uh, using heavy weapons. And, but there's no reason to use heavy weapons because as soon as the shields go down, they just spike right back up because Kasumi has to be a badass. Wow. Instead of just starting with, Kis with like, you, you know, you clear the first round of mooks on the ground, and then Kasumi goes and oh, plays a badass. Yeah. Oh, I love the fisting. <laughs> I'm Agatha, goddamn fisty. I'm the greatest of all time. That's right. Fist. Just People. make sure you're wearing your fisting gloves. Uh, <laughs> is, is what I'm saying, because safety first. You're doing this for love. <laughs> uh, it is important uh, that one uh, observes all safety precautions. Uh, and then again, being the sentinel, uh, in this case, we actually don't have. I I didn't equip uh, ooh, equip Agatha with overload, unfortunately. Um, and that's on me. But, uh, well, you know what happens. But. You know, you don't have an option against you that's here, which sucks. Alright, good. You're paying attention to other people. There, I spiked your shields up again. You're gonna go down, and I forget if it's two times or three times that we have to go through this poor shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should have I should have also grabbed the grenade launcher instead of the uh, so satisfying. <laughs> Oh, well, has the uh, notice how I notice how I preface that with this game. Oh no, <laughs> it's pretty satisfying to punch people in. In reality, I've got a couple of people I can sock one to. All of them. I would not recommend people punch people in the first game. Uh, Boink. Uh, booping people, however, right on the nose. That's, that's okay. With, with a matter disrupting bionic field. Yes. Uh, no, hi, I'm going to like tear apart pieces of your actual molecular breakup. Let's let's do it. Yeah. Oh, Finally, here we okay. are. Two times. Here we are. <clears throat> Sumi, have you ever considered putting on lipstick on the rest of your lip? Uh that's a really good question. Uh, I, I, that that that's just my, my Adderall infused brain is just having problems with that. It's interesting to me that the fields are not, uh, it's like they, the force fields are, are they lend uh, people through. <laughs> I, can t I can tell you exactly why. They function off of Dune rules. That's, you know, I was just thinking that. That's exactly what I was thinking. That there and, are Dune and I, rules. And I also get the impression shoes. that the gunships here are air breathing. Yes. Uh, so, yes. You, you need to, uh, you, 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 so, you know, you can't, you can't, you have to have that atmospheric oxygen through the field. No lie. Yep. Nope. I think you're dead on. I think that's a, that, that's a really good, uh, hypothesis. So, uh, I think that these guys are stupid. Uh, now they're shooting at me, so I gotta shoot back. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting close. Yeah, stay down so I don't have to kill you again. <laughs> uh, I hate it when you have to kill me again. Um, no, 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 I'm trying to... Are you trying to fist... <laughs> I was. I mean, look. If you can pull it off, I would have been impressed. Uh, I mean, yes, I want to fist the helicopter. <laughs> hey, look. You won't get any complaints out of this guy. The Kevin Smith Masters of the Universe show, second season after Skeletor uh, gains the He-Man powers and fistos up on the, on the ledge up there, and he looks at Skeletor's massive like 
the holographic message in the What does he say? Boy, I'd sure love to fist him. So, oh god. <laughs> oh god, fist <Crystal. laughs> I mean, not that. I mean, not that, Until we meet again! <laughs> Remember! Oh, the guy that came up with that is a genius. Uh, it is. It is, this, it is the peak comedy of the internet. It is the modern day equivalent of like Joe Cartoon. It's true. It's you're not you're not wrong. Oh, here we have a situation. Information. We hey, uh, KG, have you ever considered putting it's lipstick on the rest sense. of your lip? Yeah. Council ever. I'm wondering if that's just a thing the for their be uh, particular Kasumi. I Cultural group. The information to keep it safe. Yeah, the not Japanese and I but Japanese. The key yeah. To the right box. Um, Sure. So no Space, one Japan. Space Japan. Space Japan. Um, uh, oh, hey, there's our sex tape. Look, yeah, that's all I wanted. The rest this. of this can go fuck off. Huh? Sorry, you gotta erase it all. Love. Even the sex no! tape. <laughs> no! I'm so sorry. KG. I'm gonna make love to you, KG. I'm gonna lay it down by the fire. You don't need some neural and caress your KG body. <laughs> make you cold. Oh. And perspire. I honest to God forgot that that was There's actually a sex tape. I was making the joke because it was funny. Uh, no. This is all that's left. I, I, was, it, I knew it was coming. Uh, I mean, <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's not a Krogan sex tape. But what are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> look, the Krogan would never let things like that off of the home wall. Mm. Well, that's why we invented AI. Uh, <laughs> is there any way we can just I love the, the fact that generative AI is turning out to be. It, 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 it is becoming a dumpster fire in record time. We were all worried about Skynet. <laughs> Skynet is a freaking butthead who read, at, who read like Karl Marx and Atlas Shrugged at the same time, just trying to use both of them. Yeah, no. Um, so here we have a major decision. Um, I can't. It's not even a major, really. No, uh, I I don't really think it has much effect at all this, <laughs> you know that. on much of anything. Really. The, o the only thing that you really can't do is do it for her. Yeah, no. It, 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 you, if you let her keep it, she's loyal. If you tell her it's, you know, it's what your boyfriend wanted, destroy your sex tape. Yeah. Then she'll do it, and she'll and she'll you and she'll be loyal. I just missed. Did we end up keeping it or what? No, I told her to. I told her to wax it. Oh, okay. Uh, again, under the whole basis of it's, it was his wish. Yeah, no, that that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, if you love somebody, you want to uh, oh, uh, people are talking about follow that. their dying or last wish. Absolutely. I really appreciate so it. anyway, what we do have here is that we are going to uh, get, get a little bit easy. to know Kasumi and. Explore her oh, wonderful like collection of days. things, it's nice indeed. Because because of her nature as a yes, DLC Gardner character that was genius. kind of created more to fill a void a bad cook on in uh, the to gameplay the loop. Um, wish Krogan would fill my void. I go. I don't know what pill you're going to need, but I'm going to find it for you. Oh. <laughs> and no, it is not Viagra for Krogan. <laughs> uh, so anyway, she Kasumi brings along like I guess these are her most important things. So I guess you're just two of my favorite things. And in this case, it's a bunch of stuff she stole and something that was made for her. Indeed, when you're a thief. The red rose. You steal to be my uh, card when I that's first started out. A pre -re pre prerequisite for being a thief. Single red uh, if, you're, if you're a fighter, you kill people and take their things. It's not so stealing if you kill them. It's first. not stealing if they're dead. Um, <laughs> don't. <laughs> if you're a cleric, you convince people to give you their things so that way you can give them to the poor. Eventually. It trickles down to the poor eventually. Uh, <laughs> no. No. Uh, Joel, Steen, open your doors. Uh, <laughs> that would require him to actually practice what he preached. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I was just throwing that. 
Um, you know, uh, I would trust Katsumi. That's with my, my favorite one. piece. Um, me by a child prodigy from Elysium. Uh, well, as she was kidnapped by slavers, I was about to sell her on the main. I set up an I love the fact that they replaced the head with a fake, and to this day, no one noticed. Uh, I was just like, if it's that good of a fake, then it's more. Then the fake is more valuable. I mean, that's happened more than once. Make make a point to steal the fake back. That's a, you know that's happened with the Mona Lisa. Uh, is my understanding. <laughs> Uh, tiny little paint. Which is which is Sweet funny because it's not the uh, like no. like like the the history of the Mona Lisa is more art is more valuable and more intrinsic than the Mona Lisa itself, which just isn't that good. Like compositionally, art experts will tell you it's not a good painting. It's a tiny little painting. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I mean it's not twelve by twelve, but anyway, uh, but. We're done here, because Kasumi tells us to come back later. Uh, we never will. Never. Never. Absolutely not. Because, like, all she'll do is comment on people. Yeah. And, and it's boring. And there's no Krogan in there. There's no Krogan. So, so, anyway. Not interested. <laughs> we'll catch you next time, kids. Deuces!